when you see the female artists that promote, you know, popping they <clears throat> monkey every five mm-hmm. minutes. But then they turn, they promote popping they monkey, they promote uh, lesbianism, they promote just, you know, Artists freedom of mm-hmm. sex and everything else. But then they turn around and they married with kids. What do you think about that as far as how that impacts the next generation of people coming up looking up to them and stuff like that? Do you think that they should, you know, change their message to, you know, correlate with the actual life that they live in? Mm -hmm. Or do you think they perpetuating what's really going on out here in these streets? Or is it just all entertainment and nobody should care? We don't have a lot of artists these days. We have entertainers. We Mm -hmm. have people that are here to entertain. And the problem is a lot of people can't separate entertainment from real life. I'm not going to say what their message should be because, you know, these men rap about drugs. It's it's an artist out here. All his all his songs talk about drinking lean, doing all these crazy things. That man don't even do none of it. Mm. So he's promoting some shit he don't do either, killing yep. a generation as well. But my thing is that some of these women that talk about popping pussy and lesbianism and all this type of stuff, they did do it. Mm. <laughs> they just got somebody that said, I'm okay with it, and now let's get married. You know what I'm saying? So half of them actually did do what they talk about. Mm. And then, like, even Tiana Taylor, okay, she talks about a lot of sex and her music, whatever. But her and her husband have admitted to having threesomes and to having an open relationship, basically. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a lot of this stuff still is what's going on in their lives. So it's just like I can't say what their message should be. But I do want young girls to know that you don't have to do that to get a relationship, to get a man. Like some men are not into that. And if that's not what you're into, don't compromise yourself just to satisfy somebody else. I do want people to understand that. But it's just like at, at some point, Okay, you know, they say train up a child the way that they should be. And then, you know, even if they stray away, they'll come back eventually. Mm -hmm. It's on the parents. It's on the people in the household because there's always going to be outside influences. And, you know, people talk about music nowadays. But, like, let's be clear. The music back then that we love so much. You're my little (laughs) Okay, it sound good because they were sultry. They could sing. They was actual artists. But they was talking about some crazy ass shit too. Like being a nigga side piece. It's it's a side piece now, but back then it was your little secret. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a lot of this stuff been going on. It's just more seductive. And I just think we have it just thrown in our faces so much with social media. Mm -hmm. But like I said, my message to young girls would be, is to just, like, don't feel like you have to compromise yourself. And I know that it may seem like a contradiction because, you know, they're married with kids and they're living good lives now. But a lot of them did do that. They did have fun. And I do feel like people, men and women, need to go through a little bit of a whole stage. You know what I'm saying? Because you see people <laughs> right. that just live they they life just, ah, oh, I'm just going to do everything right get married, have kids, now they bored in life because they had no fun. Mm. <laughs> they had no fucking fun. Now you in your fucking 40s trying to pop your coochie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, like, and not that 40s old, but it's just like your whole life, you didn't do nothing. Now you're trying to do it because, you know, you're just bored with life. So I do feel like people should have a little bit of a hoe phase. And it don't mean like you just out here fucking everybody. Just have fun. Just a fun stage in life because you don't want to look back and like feel like your life passed you by. And now that you're stable mm-hmm. and something that is concrete that you pray for, you can't keep it because you want to have fun. What about if your hoe phase causes you to go into a no phase where everybody tells you No. I said a phase, nigga. I just say your whole life shit. And that's what I'm saying. But you know what? Er- what's weird is that everybody want to post about the stuff they didn't did. Mm-hmm. When, when was it okay to just tell everybody your sexual activities? Like, mm-hmm. keep that shit to yourself. And maybe nobody would even know you had a whole phase. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some girls out here that's real secretive and real quiet. You think like, oh, she's a good girl. She used to be a hoe, but nobody know because she knew how to shut the fuck up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. now she in a, a good phase because she went through it. She... Let it be what it's going to be. Nobody really know her secrets, but she had fun, and now she's able to live her life. Is every whole phase a fun phase? Maybe you just get it's your back blowed out the whole time. It, and you know what? Sometimes you just need that, okay? Oh, please. Sometimes you just need it, okay? But honestly, it may not be for everybody. And, I, you know, like, 
you just get into it and be like, okay, well, this is what it's like on this side, the wild side or whatever. But I, the reason why I say I, I think people should go through it because, like, okay, let's say it's not for you. Mm -hmm. Like, mm, this just ain't it. At least you got to experience it to know that you're not missing out on nothing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we go through our whole lives. It's like, oh, I want to be rich. I want to be rich. I am to be rich. You never get rich, so you feel like you missed out on something. Ooh. But the niggas that's rich is wishing they could go back to living in the hood because it was much easier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just like, yeah. So just experience some stuff just to know that, you know, I don't, I ain't miss out on nothing. I'm I'm happy where I'm at, you mm -hmm. know, because I feel like people be thinking they missed out on something, and whole time they miss out on nothing, but they ruin something possibly because they like I gotta go do this because I missed out. What does it take to get people to do that though? Because that's the issue that I'm having right now. What, right? I feel like people are missing out on blessings because they're so busy trying to live out this whole phase because they want to have so much fun. I need to have so much fun. No, you need to go over there and be happy. I don't know what it's going to take. Irresponsible. Irresponsible ain't fun. People are not responsible. Be, you know why? Why? You just said it because it's not fun, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you just saying? Responsibility is not fun. Okay? <laughs> Shit, cool. Like, okay, no, I got a house, buddy. I got a crib. You know what I'm saying? My bills pay, yes. But having so, to go to that job every day is not fun. Well, now, I totally understand what you're going with with that, and that's why I have to ask this question. Uh, fun. Mm -hmm. Do we need it, or can we live without it? We need it, but it ain't no, uh, it's a balance with that shit. Because <laughs> every day ain't fun, la, 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 fun, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's, fun our way to the pole house. Right, I'm with exactly. You. So, yeah, it's a balance to that because you, like, especially the older you get. I know niggas older than me still having fun having and they ain't amounted to shit. Okay. And every other day they like, well, damn, why ain't I where I want to be? <laughs> Fuck it. I just go have some fun. <laughs> Nigga, find a balance in that fun. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Have fun to be fucked up out here. Fuck around and find out. Fuck okay? around and find out. <laughs> okay. Speaking of fucking around and finding out, has there ever been a time that you had to fuck around and find out? Yeah, Ray. <laughs> plenty of them <laughs> plenty of times okay like definitely and you know that's why I'm here I found the fuck out okay so yeah I can dig that okay in, in rapping Aaron Ray is that a thing that you want to tell your fans out here because I mean you go out there to revolt conferences folks loving on you you on Instagram, they love it. I'm getting the bring Aaron Ray back in. I don't give a fuck about nothing else you're doing on your goddamn show. We want Aaron Ray. What do you have to say to these people? Oh, I love all of y'all. And you know what? Like, it's a couple guys that I have seen um, in person that's kind of like afraid to speak or whatever. Like, I'm real nice. Don't be no weirdo, but I'm real yeah, nice. Be, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hold on. Let me get here. <laughs> I need her to be able to come back on the show, so don't be stalking and trying to right. kidnap nobody. There's some crazy Pardon. stuff out here. But, like, thank y'all. Yeah, know. she stay strapped anyway. Fuck around and find out. No. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, just I appreciate everybody and just the continued support. We got a lot of stuff coming in 2023, so I'm Ooh. excited. How can so, they follow you, though? I am Aaron Ray. That's I-A-M-E-R-I-N-R-A-E. -E. You got it. Beehive Radio, shout it. Aaron Ray. I'll let y'all in a minute, man. We gone.